Hello friends, we want to look at the managerial applications of price elasticity of supply. How is it applied? The first is stimulation of output by government pricing policy of subsidies. So, if government wants more to be produced in an economy, he uses taxes and subsidies. Taxes, you know, taxes if government imposes high taxes, it increases price of commodities and it discourages production. If government, um, but it gives government revenue and if government gives subsidies, it boosts the morale of suppliers to supply more. So now, if government wants to stimulate output, it needs to know the elasticity of supply of the commodity because, um, there are some commodities that are fairly elastic. A fairly elastic commodity is a commodity that will have its supply increase by a greater percentage just by an increase in price. Now, if the government wants to increase the supply of a commodity, the government can decide to increase the price of the commodity, even not through taxes but um, just by government legislation the government can impose that uh, the government can um, legislate that this commodity must be priced at this very price so in that case if the price increases the profit margin of producers will increase but if the commodity is fairly elastic then it will encourage producers to produce so many and the government objective will be met. On the other hand, if the commodity is fairly inelastic, even though price has increased, quantity supplied will not increase as much as the government will be expecting. So before government imposes price on a commodity, he has to know the price elasticity of that commodity. The second is pricing to increase the supply of factors of production. Pricing to increase the supply of factors of production a, a fair example is labor apart from commodities labor also supply their services and is also considered as part of supply now how does it apply how does it apply if government wants more hands on deck more people to be working that means if you want supply of labor to increase drastically he has to know the elasticity of that supply whether it's fairly elastic or fairly inelastic if it is fairly elastic it means an increase in the price of labor which is called wage wages and salaries an increase in wages and salaries will result in a greater percentage increase in the supply of labor so if, if if the supply if the elasticity is fairly elastic the government just has to increase the wage by just a small margin and then supply of labor will increase on the other hand if it is fairly inelastic increasing it by a small margin might not work because it will result in a lesser percentage increase in quantity supplied so it must be known it must be known not only the government but as an employer as a manager you must know how to um, you must know the supply the elasticity of supply of labor before you decide to increase the wages and salaries or you maintain it or even reduce it